Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this video, you will learn the beautiful face light up photo trick in PowerPoint 2013. Of course, this effect is with animation. The beautiful face light up photo trick you are about to learn goes like this. First, I show the picture of a family or the picture of team members in an organization, etc. So I'm going to work with this particular photo which has family members. So the way that I would present this slide is like this. Here is the photo of my family. I would like to introduce you to each member of the family in turns. I'm going to first talk about member A, then member B, then C, then D, and then E. As you can see here, with each click, the face of the members lights up and makes this photo so much more memorable than a plain looking photo like this. Let me show you how to create this beautiful effect from scratch. The first thing you require to create this effect is obviously a photo. I'm going to right click on this photo and say cut. Then right click and go to format background option. And then go to picture or texture fill. And then click on clipboard. As you can see here since I have already cut this particular photo. This photo has gone into the clipboard of the computer. So when I said fill for the format background and picture or texture fill and clicked on clipboard, whatever that has been stored in the clipboard is now pasted onto the background. Now, as you can see, I cannot move this anywhere because this is now the background for the slide. Now with that done, the next step is to highlight the faces of the various family members. So let us go to auto shapes menu. Under basic shapes, I'm going to use the oval tool to highlight the faces of individual members. I'm not going to go to oval tool over and over again. I'm going to right click here and I'm going to say lock drawing mode for the oval tool. And as soon as I did that, you can see that my cursor has now turned into crosshairs. I'm going to hold the shift button down as I draw a big circle to cover the face of the individual members. You can see that my cursor still is in crosshairs because I have locked this particular drawing mode. I'm going to hold the shift button down as I draw a big circle around the face of each of the members. I'm going to do this fairly quickly and in a rough way possible. You can always do this precisely whenever you want to do it for your own photos. Now we have got five circles here. Now let us go to the oval shape and I'm going to click on it so that I can deselect and my cursor is now back to its original shape. Then I'm going to go to auto shapes menu. Under rectangles, I'm going to pick up this rectangle tool. I'm going to draw a large rectangle that covers the entire slide area end to end. Then go to shape fill and give it black color. Go to shape outline and say no outline. And here you can see since I have already selected this particular shape, you can see the contextual pane here. I'm going to increase the transparency to somewhere around 40%. Then I'm going to close this. Then I'm going to right click on this and send it to back. Now I'm going to do something very interesting. I'm going to hold the shift button down as I select all these circles. Then I'm going to apply a very interesting effect called slide background fill. I'm going to click on it. And as soon as I did that, you can see that each of these circles is now filled with the slide background. Now I'm going to do one more thing which makes this effect so beautiful. And that is, let me go to the effects option here, go to the soft edges and go to one of the presets and add 25 points of a uh, soft edge. Now, as soon as I did that, you can see that there is a soft glow that puts the light on the faces of the individual family members. Now I can always select any of the shapes by clicking on that particular uh, circle here and I'm going to use my arrow keys so that I can adjust the exact positioning of the lighting here. Now this one is fine, this one is fine. Maybe I can always uh, move this slightly to the center and move this one to somewhere down. Yeah, that is beautiful. I can pick this one and move this slightly down. Yeah, it's beautiful. Now what we have is these five circles that are throwing light on the faces of the individual family members. Now I'm going to add a simple custom animation. So I'm going to select each of these circles and the order of selection is very important while you hold the shift button down. I selected this first, then second, 
then third, then fourth, then fifth and then let us go to animations and choose a simple fade animation and say start on click and then let us go to the slideshow mode and when you say click you have the first member introduced second third fourth and fifth so that is how you create the beautiful face light up effect for your pictures in powerpoint 2013 if you liked the clarity of my explanation and the creativity of the effects that i have been showcasing all the while in presentation process channel then you will really love our Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program. It is a structured way to master PowerPoint. Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program is arguably the most comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training online. You can find more details about Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program by clicking on the No More button here. And by the way, I hope you liked the tutorial that I taught you in this video. If you did, then I have a wonderful treat for you. I have put together a beautiful mini training called Learn 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas to make your slides slick and interesting. If you're a business presenter, like say you are a business owner, a business executive, a trainer or a consultant, then you will find this course extremely useful. You can sign up for this mini training by clicking on the button here. You can also sign up for the mini training by clicking on the link in the description area below this video. So go ahead, click on the button here. Sign up for the mini training and take your business presentation slides to a whole new level. I'll see you inside the mini training.